Hello, people. I'm a wee bit tired today. I've had a really, really busy week. I've done loads and loads of things. I've um, planted lots of seeds and I've got like a wee greenhouse growing in my living room. I've just had my delivery from Neil's yard with my aromatherapy oils and Danny's just came through there the now with some vinegar, um, half white vinegar, half water and we're going to make up some fabric softener that we use in the washing machine and make that up myself because I don't know if you know but when you buy fabric softener it's got formaldehyde in it so if I was to dry the clothes in the house all that goes in the air all that toxins and then you have to breathe it in so all the cleaning products we use and things are all very natural um, so I've got some nice oils I don't know what I'm going to add I've got lavender here mandarin I've got what else is ordered lemon lemon's really good for your immune system and cleansing rosemary I got so I'm not going to put that in the um, fabric softener but I got that it's a really good antispasmotic oil um, and I'll use that for my creams that I'll mix up for my muscles because um, I've ran out of that I also have got tea tree of course you always need tea tree tea tree is also called maluka um, and it is antiviral, antifungal and antibacterial so really really good for any kind of infections grapefruit is one of my favourite, it smells like sweeties and I've got another free, it's in the box, I can't remember I think lime, I got lime because it was zesty and did I get orange there? I got mandarin, so yeah, and I got orange there was one more, a lang -a lang I don't, and I think I'll put the lang -a lang in the fabric softener along with some either mandarin or orange um, so I think that's what our clothes will smell of but we'll just do it in a short dilution Dan, do you want to show the bottles eh? so it's just basically cheap white if you bring it in front of the screen don't be camera shy you can this on and make sure you always label it as well so I'm a trained aromatherapist so we always label things um, and put what we've uh, got inside so that's a wee something that I'm up to today I've also got my friend coming I wanted to get in there first before the gardening season really starts going so that I can enjoy it I've just got a feeling we're going to have a good summer although Danny just hit me with this morning you know what, we're going to get the beast for the east in March <laughs> I was like, well, I'll be keeping my wee seedlings in the house till April before they go outside keep them safe I'm like wee mother hen looking after them every day I'm glad I've got them in the living room to look after them because last year the slugs got them I was devastated So, but I've got a feeling we're going to have a really sunny summer so I'm preparing for that and I've got my friend coming from um, um, Bray's Property Maintenance, James. And he did a fabulous job last year, uh, no last year, the year before that it was. I doing all my decking out the back, so I've got a beautiful area out the back. Um, and put a new fence up the side garden. But now I want a wee seating area a bit better than I've got in front of my cabin. It's got stones on it, so I'm a wee bit sometimes unsteady on my feet, so I'm going to try and utilise the slabs that we've got and recycle them and get them repaved to make a nice area, but also get a pagola coming away from the cabin, just a small one, um, so that we can maybe have a wee bit of shelter or I can maybe get some climbers growing up it as well. But I've got to be careful what I grow up it as well, because 
can't have smelly plants because they of course they go for my chest as much as I love them and Danny loved growing sweet peas last year and um, <laughs> after all the seeds that we planted we got one plant but anyway this year's going to be better because I've got these heated mats and the seedlings are coming on fabulous I think I might be an expert seed seedling grower now anyway I'm getting right into my gardening we're waiting on Tesco delivery coming just now and then I'm going to send Danny up to Torwood to see if he can source my magnolia tree that I've been looking for. My good friend Jean was there yesterday and said they had magnolia trees in and I've been waiting on Torwood phoning me because they said they were going to phone for a deposit for a bigger tree but she says they were having bother getting more in. So I'm going to see what these trees are like that they've got in just now. If they're big enough. I want one that's more established. One that I can see budding um, this year. I don't want to have to wait till next year. I might not be around next year. So I want to see it budding this year. Anyway. You guys have a good day. And I'm sure like I've got all my heated pads on and that the now. I'm sure I'll perk up later on. And just my bones are really, really sore today. Um, but it's not in, it's not intense pain. Like, the pain colours have really sorted that out. It's just a, a dull ache. So, um, I'm sure I'll be fine in a couple of hours once I bring kicks in. But you have a good day. Bye.